Jones Double Read Review, take one. Hi there, thanks so much for joining me. In today's video, I'm going to give you a super honest review of Jones Double Reads Oboe Reads. I'm gonna play the reads for you so you can hear what they sound like and I'm gonna give you my completely candid opinion of these reads. Firstly, I would like to thank Jones Double Reads for sending me a lot of these reads to try. They sent me 12 oboe reads, which I'm gonna play all of them for you today in this video. To those who don't know me, hi, I'm Ron and I post oboe content every week. I would like to encourage you to please like this video and subscribe to me here on YouTube. As well, you can find me on Instagram at oboe Ron. So Jones Double Reads is a very ubiquitous name. They're sold in tons of music stores across the country and a lot of times when you rent your first oboe, you might just find a little Jones Oboe Read inside your oboe case. By the way, in case you are a beginner, please check out my beginner oboe tutorial, which can help you if you're just starting out playing. So these Jones Oboe Reads are mostly made by profiling machines. So basically a human who's not an oboist will tie the reed and then they'll put it in the machine and have that scrape it down to somewhere that's like pretty close or should be in the ballpark of what they want their oboe reads to sound like. Then the very final step is having an actual oboist test play them and adjust them so they're ready to send out in the mail. So in terms of the reads that I'll be playing today, I'll be playing both their kinds of reads in each strength. So they have three strengths, medium soft, medium, and medium hard, and they have two kinds of reads, which are the red reads or the beginner reads. These are mostly for totally beginner players who are just starting out. They are supposed to be really easy to play, really responsive, and they're very useful for someone who just wants to make a sound. That's very critical because it's actually very difficult to start playing the oboe. So it's really important to have a very responsive read. The other read that they sent me is the purple read. These are the artist reads and they are more for intermediate players who've been playing the oboe for a little while and they want a read that is more flexible and has a deeper tone. All right, so I'm going to just start out by playing on one of my own reads so you know what I sound like and that will let you compare how all these reads sound compared to a handmade read that I made. So here's one of my own reads. All right. Let's move on to the Jones Double Reads. I'll start with this medium soft read. So already I can tell by the crow that it is a little bit low, but it responds very easily, so I think that that is a very good sign for a beginner. So it's actually like almost a semitone low. So I really feel like I have to bite the reed up to pitch, which is not a good thing. You don't want to be developing habits right at the start of playing that involve biting the reed up to pitch. Yeah, so having a reed that's this under pitch can make it very difficult to play with others. Overall, I think this is like a great reed to play for, uh, you know, the first week of playing and you can take it to your teacher and they can uh, adjust the read for you. A lot of times I have that when students come to me with store-bought reads and what I can do for them is just slightly adjust it, bring it up to pitch and then they'll have a much easier time playing on that read and then they can transition over to handmade reads. Next up is the medium read. Oh, this read does not vibrate. So. The opening looked really big to me, and so what I'm doing is actually pressing the reed down here next to the thread. I'm just applying some gentle pressure to bring the blades a little bit closer together. This is gonna make the reed higher in pitch and also easier to play. However, you don't want the reed to be too closed because then you'll be really constricted in terms of your dynamic range. Okay. It's not a very promising sound. Yeah, so it's very flat as well. It's a little bit harder. I wouldn't really call this a medium. I think this is already hard for me, my for my personal taste. Obviously, everyone's a little bit different in terms of what they feel most comfortable playing on. And here is the medium hard. Oh, so it's really hard even just to get a sound on just the read alone. I really have to blow a lot of air through it. All right, and here is the medium hard. 
Okay, so this is the most up to pitch one so far, and actually the sound isn't terrible. Um, sounds fine. All right, just for fun, I'm gonna play the other three student reads of the same strength. So these should correspond pretty closely to the reads that I just played for you. I'll start with the medium soft. Yeah, it's super flat, but you know what? I bet with a little clip, this would be totally playable. Here's the medium. Yeah, so this medium I think is like definitely in the ballpark. It's pretty close. It's definitely a usable read for a beginner player. Now for this medium hard. Oh my God, that's a lot of work. Oh, I'm really worried about this one. It doesn't even look too open. I think the reed itself is just too thick. Uh, so it would need to be scraped down in order to be really playable, I think. <sighs> okay, this one's not a reed yet. Sorry. Okay, let's move on to the artist reads. So here are the artist reads, which are again for more intermediate players. Usually you've been playing more than a year. Start with the medium soft. Okay, so that's very worrisome since uh, it feels like pretty hard, not soft. Okay, once I, it's not like I soaked it for very long. I think I soaked it less than two minutes, so it's surprising that it's that difficult. Yeah, so this is already uh, kind of better than the, all the other reads I've tried so far, even though like to me it has like a weird resistance in it Like just to initially get the note out it's quite difficult But I think that there is more smoothness a little bit more roundness in the tone compared to the reads so far. Here's the medium Okay, uh, just like quite concerning. Yeah, I don't know if you can see but this opening is very big so we want to close that down. I feel like you can like drive a Mack truck through that opening. Okay. Yeah, this feels a little difficult. Yeah, so I tried this read and I feel like it has potential. I just really need to scrape it. This is kind of the overarching theme of all these reads so far today is that a lot of them are closer, have potential, and definitely can be used by students, but they just need that last 10% of the way. Uh, I think that's something that's so difficult because I do feel like in general my own reads like I take four days to work on them so it's not like a long time but it's like 10 minutes on one day then another five minutes another five minutes another five minutes and then they're really ready but the point is, is that you split up the work and you let the reads settle day to day I feel like in a situation where you're trying to get out tons of reads all at once you end up doing more work on one day just to like kind of get it out. But then the problem is, is like it can settle differently. And there's also the other added logistical difficulty of the fact that these reads are made in Spokane, Washington and they're sent all over North America. So that's just like another difficult thing that makes oboe hard. All right, here's medium hard. Oh, this one's actually easier than the other two. Yeah, so Betts is actually very easy to play. This I would not call this medium hard. I would say this one is the softest one of all of them. But I definitely made sure I took this one out of the medium hard box. All right, now we're gonna try the final three reads. Starting with the medium soft. Okay, I don't even know what to do. Oh, let's close it down. Yeah, it just feels like it's barely vibrating. Yeah, it's not a read yet. Medium. really hard. And then the medium hard. Yeah, so miraculously it's kind of the medium hard ones that seem to be doing better. I've got no real explanation for that. All right, so that kind of concludes my trying of all these reads. Basically my final thoughts are that there's a really important place for reads like this in the market. Not everyone has access to a teacher right away and it's really important to be playing on something when you're starting because that's a really big barrier to entry for oboists. If you're a beginner oboist or a parent of a beginner oboist, hopefully something that you can take away from this is how valuable a resource a teacher can be in just like helping make reads or helping adjust reads so that they're easier to play for yourself or for your child.
Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope that this was really helpful and informative for you. Good luck on your oboe journey. Please let me know in the comments if there's anything that you'd like me to cover in an upcoming video, and please subscribe and hit that thumbs up button below, it really means a lot. Additionally, you can find me on Instagram at oboron where I post daily tips, tricks, and practice videos. Thank you so much, and have a great day.